Trent, you were also part of the Juan Soto deal. What was your initial reaction when you found out you were heading to New York? Uh, I was excited. I mean, uh, to play in New York, to live in the city, one, and then uh, to get to play for a story franchise like this, and then uh, getting here and meeting up all the guys. I mean, it's been it's been awesome so far. So I'm excited to get rolling. Talk about meeting all the guys when you walk into that clubhouse. Is it an odd feeling joining a new team and and kind of trying to get to know everybody? Yeah, it's always it's always a different feeling, um, especially coming from a place where you're comfortable. You know everybody um, that you look at. Uh, coming here, you feel a little uncomfortable at first, but uh, that's a testament to the guys. Um, I never really felt like that for more than that first hour walking in, but after getting to know them, um, felt right at home, and I'm excited. What do you think of this roster and this team and the capabilities of this team? Well, the capabilities, I mean, you see them on paper, but um, I've been a part of a team that was good on paper that just didn't really perform, so um, I'm just excited to get to know these guys one and see who they are and then um, see their commitment to winning um, and that's really evident when you walk in the door. What are your expectations when it comes to playing time this year? What have they told you? I don't really have any expectations. I know I'm going to be a fourth outfielder to start um, so I'm just going to try to bring my uh, bring a lot of energy, bring a lot of um, just be excited to be there every day and um, be excited to be in that role and just bring a good attitude to the park every day. When it comes to Juan Soto, the talent speaks for itself, but what else can you tell us about Juan? I mean, it's he's fun to watch. He's fun to be around. He's fun to watch. Um, I'm excited to see what he can do in this uh, ballpark. Now, one thing I noticed, you're a guy that it's kind of old school, no batting gloves. Take me through that. Why no batting gloves? Uh, I just really don't like the feel of them. That's kind of what it boils down to. Um, I've always liked um, not how I kind of took away or got away from them when I was in high school and just really never went back to them. doesn't matter if it's 25 degrees outside. You're still good. No, it's going to be a little harder, but, yeah, I'm still good. <laughs> Trent, thanks for the time. Best of luck this year. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.